Hey, what's up everyone? In this tutorial, we'll have a look at how to create a blog on WordPress. I will go through the entire process step by step, explaining to you how we can do some things better and faster. So the first thing you usually do once you have installed WordPress, you go out there and search for the ideal WordPress theme that will suit your idea. Well, the thing is, there is a lot of WordPress themes out there. But it's hard to find one that will be easy to work with, will load fast, and will have a lot of customization options right in the package so you don't have to download a load of hundreds of other plugins to start working with this theme. But such a theme actually does exist. So for my tutorial, I'll be using Monstro 2 WordPress theme. That goes with Elementor Editor right away and a bunch of chat add-ons, which are the best add-ons for Elementor out there. You've got a ton of these plugins and you can do a lot of stuff with this and with Elementor bound together. You can find the link to this theme in the description under this video and download it right away. You can learn more about Monster to WordPress theme and Jet add-ons if you check other videos on our channel. And if you want to know how to install Monster 2 on your WordPress website, you can also find the corresponding tutorial on our channel. For now, I'll not be stopping at how to install Monster 2, how to activate the license. You can find that all on the tutorials on our channel. On this specific video, we will focus on how you can turn this default theme into the website that you need, into a blog in this case. So, I have just installed Monstroid on the clean WordPress installation and you see that it's already given me the hints that I should install WooCommerce because Monstroid has inside a couple of plugins that go with WooCommerce and allow WooCommerce to work together with Elementor. So we can set up an online store using Elementor, which is a great, great thing, but we'll definitely have a look at it a little later. Now, for this point, what I want to do is to go and start off with choosing the template, choosing the skin for my future website. How do I do that? I go to the left sidebar and I find the Monster 2 label in there and I go to Monster 2. So you see there is a My License, which is activated, and I go to Skins. And here I can see all the skins that I have inside Monster 2. Right away, once this theme was released, it had about 20 skins. But the developers add one more skin every week, so you'll be getting more and more skins, and there really will be no limit in the number of skins that you're gonna have in your Monster 2. So, you see that you can review all of those and find the style that applies you the most. So, I guess that for the blog, there is a number of options. I guess this one would be great for a travel blog. Like, there is a lot of great pictures and you can simply swap those generic pictures with your own. And the great layout will still be there. You know, just get a ready-made design that you simply swap the generic content with your own and you're good to go. You don't really need to do anything. Okay, for a blog, I guess it'll also be great, but you see there is a gallery, so it's more for the photographer. So, I guess we're going to stop with this because we're not about the travel blog, but just a simple blog, maybe lifestyle, fashion, you know. You see that you can actually preview a demo and we're actually gonna jump right in the demo because I want to see how it looks before I actually install it on my website. So here we go, we've got a homepage, a lot of animated elements. This also can be used for a photographer, but if you're a blogger, you can also add a lot of personal information about you so your readers could read it. You see there is a number of other pages, but we're going to totally change the menu right there, so don't care about it just yet. Alright, so I guess it looks pretty nice, so let's go back to the dashboard and let's simply press install. Here we go, since I have installed all of these plugins with the first, my installation of Monstroid, the default skin, I'll skip to demo content. 
and I'll append demo content so it will just add the new demo content to all the post pages, media, library elements, etc. It will add the demo content to the existing content on my website. It's not gonna delete anything so I'm not losing any of my own content. So once you install one skin over your skin that is currently on your website, just choose a pant if you don't want to lose the content that you already have. This is important. So now we're waiting until it is uploaded. I'm gonna skip this through so we don't have to wait the whole time. And here we go, the demo content has just finished uploading and we've got a number of actions we could take that the theme is offering to us. And the first thing that you could do is to go and have a look at how your theme looks now. But I will start with the header and with the menu customization. So first off, I'll need to choose what links will be in my menu. So I'll go to appearance menus. Here it goes with jet menu. I can create a mega menu, but for a blog, well, this actually could be a good idea. So probably we're gonna try to do that. Uh, so menu structure, this is the footer menu and um, I'll need the main menu. I want to customize this one. All right, here it goes. So this is the main menu that we have. So there's the home page about page portfolio since this is just a um, just the blog website. Let's remove the portfolio and contact. I guess that the contact page is a good one to be there. Maybe someone will want to get in touch with you. And let's click save menu. So now in order to edit the header that we have on our website, we need to go to Monstrate, my library. And here you're gonna have all the theme parts that are applied to your website, to your current skin that you're working with. All right. So for now we have two theme parts that are active, this header and this footer. And they're applied to the entire site. And yes, you can also set the active conditions. Like um, you can choose separate header templates to be applied to the home page and to the rest of the site which is a pretty interesting feature. So I'll start off with the header and I go and add it with Elementor. So here we go. Now you see the header. Here you can insert a logo and here we'll be having the navigation. So there go the breadcrumbs and the menu itself so i've left only four links in there and you see my menu it has chosen right there so you can insert the png and svg file both in there so so here you can insert your logo i'm gonna grab the png file from the media library and also add the SVG file. Well, that's way too big, so I'm going to add the padding on the right so it keeps the logo in place and move it a little bit to the top. I'll use the negative margin. One more thing that I could change is the color of the links here in the menu. And I can go to the style tab scroll down find the main menu items hover and go to the text color and put the color in there that i like and here we go now it is pink and looking really nice um also what i want to do is to go to the color picker and here i can set the color scheme for my website that i'm going to be using on every single page and every single element and for now it's definitely going to be that pink color and i'm going to replace this blue with this if i come up with some more colors to add to my color palette for my website i'm going to go back here to the color picker and you can find it right there if you go to this little hamburger menu click on it and you go to color picker and you can go there anytime and add your colors that you're gonna 
totally use later on on your website. By the way, in order to change the header conditions, as I have mentioned, uh, if you want to assign different headers to the home page and to all the other pages on your site, you can go to the settings right here while you are editing the header template and you'll find the conditions tab where you see uh, the option called general and here you can choose to what parts of your site you want to apply this header template. It can be either entire site, singular page or the archive. So if it's a singular, you simply choose the post type and start typing in the name of the post that you want this header to be visible on. Or it can also be, let's say, page. And then I start typing in home and it has found the home page. And now this particular header is now assigned to the home page only. See that? Simple. All right, let's leave it as entire site and click update. And, and in case you're having in case you're having some inconveniences like this one um, and if you're having some inconveniences your links suddenly turned blue while while you were editing them they were black weird so let's go to Elementor settings and disable default colors and disable default fonts this will make Elementor inherit the colors and the fonts from your theme and will not put its own colors and fonts in your designs. So sometimes it can be quite irritating. And I go back to the WordPress dashboard and I'm going to go and edit the footer template with Elementor. Here it is. And same thing here. I want to change uh, this logo to my own logo. I'll go ahead and replace this logo again. Right now I'll be using the white version of my logo. Here it goes and same thing here. I'll make it way smaller. By adding the padding on the right. and some negative margin at the top. Here we go. So here you have the social links. So I could go ahead and insert the links to my social media right there. For now, there are just some generic links. So you just go ahead and change there. Here I change the description. Here goes the icon list. You could also change it in here. It's sort of a vertical menu. And it can serve as a vertical menu. And you just insert the links that you wish to be there. And you change the text. But what I could do is to add the vertical menu instead of this icon list. So let's drop it just in there and add main menu. Here it goes. And then I would just go ahead and change the typography settings. Right here we go, and also I'll remove the background, or I better would do it the same way it is done in there. So on normal, they will be a little bit more transparent, and on hover, they will become white. Okay, now I will delete this one, and here we go. Now there is our vertical menu.
I also want to move it a little bit to the left. All right, here we go. Uh, we're done with uh, the menu. Then the newsletter. Here, enter your email, the subscribe button. This description can also be changed. Uh, subscribe to my newsletter and just something like so. And here you can edit the copyright message or you can also just fully remove it and replace it with something else. All right, we're done with the footer. Let's click update. It is saved and I'm going back to my dashboard. Here we go, we're done with the header and the footer. Now it is time to go and see what pages we've got and edit them one by one. Right, so now let's go and have a look at what pages we've got. If you have appended the demo content but not replaced your content, you'll have a lot of pages in here that not belong to this skin, so you can move them to the bin or, you know, they just simply may be there. So now we have four pages. I have already done that. So there in the bin, I have all the pages that not belong to the skin and that, and that I'll not need for my website. All right, and now I'll go through all of these pages one by one and sell them, change their look just the way so I like it. Okay, so here goes the homepage. Should we start with the homepage? Let this be and let's click edit with Elementor. All right, so here goes our homepage. You can scroll down and find the widgets that you want to remove right away. It could be the counter. I don't really see the points of the counter. Mm, portfolio. It could be if you're a, also a photographer in addition to being a blogger. Services. Well, actually, I could place here what you do as a blogger. I don't think you really need that, though, but we're going to totally change it later. First of all, I want to work on this section at the top. So what I will do, I'll insert uh, this picture right there. And what we want to do is to change the color in the text let's change just the name and well blogger traveler journalist I don't know, we can go on and on and change the text. This is actually the animated text widget that goes with uh, Monstroid 2 inside the Jet Elements plugin. So here it goes. And uh, now the color. So pretty simple. We've done a couple of things, but the page is already changing its overall atmosphere. So. Here, do we need any text in there? I'll just insert some generic text in there, so it is there, but it doesn't mean anything. Now the uh, button. Then we could also change the color of the button. And what we've got here, oh well, and the text on the button, which could be uh, just learn more I'm not changing much of the elements so you can see that it's really really usable and you don't have to delete all the elements and start off again because everything is ready for you and this is an image what I want to do is to delete it because it doesn't really make any sense in here because it's not a portfolio but it's now became sorta empty in there. 
What we could do is use a satellite element. We go to Jet Tricks and choose Satellite Element. You can notice that now the Z index is a little bit messed up, but we're going to totally change that. Don't worry. Uh, so. We simply need to go to the advanced tab back and change the Z index to zero. All right, and in here it should be two, two will be okay. So we will rotate it minus 90 degrees and try and position it right there where that image was. Right? Um, and yeah, let's change the text. I don't know, it could easily be that or... Just here it goes and the typography setting is Well, that's looking pretty interesting and we can go ahead and choose the color for it. So here we go. Now it is looking a lot more feminine and nice and we haven't done pretty much anything yet. We have just changed some colors, the image and uh, this. We added this text over there. Yeah. So moving on. Let's scroll down and find the next section that we've got in there. Here we have the progress bars, which could be a really interesting feature if you do offer some services or sell your skills. But if you don't, well, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to place them here. So, so I'm going to go ahead and change the image to another one and change the positioning. So I would actually delete these progress bars and uh, this heading will simply be you know just summarizing what this block owner is writing about all right and what i would do next is simply go to this box you simply go to this box and grab this widget from there and uh, drop it into this section. We'll just do three of those. All right, and for now, I'll delete uh, this section entirely. So what do we got here? We have margin that makes such a big space between them and we'll reduce it to 25. Same here. And well, same there. So now this section is being like a lot below the neighboring one with the image. So I'm gonna move this up uh, just a bit. So that's a bit better. All right, here it goes, and uh, these actually are the image boxes. So what you could do is go ahead and choose the images that you want to insert there. You know, that could be anything uh, that you want. But you know, we could actually do the same, but replace the image box with the icon box. So we don't need images, we can simply use icons. That will have a really, really 
wide choice. So let's copy this style to a newly created image box and delete all of these. All right, so I leave some generic text in there and change the heading to lifestyle and, and now let's change the icon. So let's just be this one and we can go to the style tab and choose the color of the icon. Then let's change the size just a bit. All right, and then I'll duplicate this icon box twice. And next I'll move on and change the icons. Here we go, we're done with this section and it's time to move on to the next one, portfolio. Well, this, well, here you see that you have a heading that has two different colors inside and it is done with the help of this HTML tag and the hex code color. But there's also a way to do it with no code at all. So you don't need to know anything about how to insert HTML code, how to find the hex color, you know, and you can do it with the help of the headline widget. So let's remove like everything we don't need. This could be something like that. And let's align it to the left and choose the topography settings. Here we go, we didn't use a single line of code, but it is still looking great. It's looking just the way it did. All right, so and here you see that we have a background image and let's delete it. And this one is actually the portfolio widget that goes with Injet Elements plugin that is also shipped with Monstery to WordPress theme. So what is special about this widget is that you can add a filter at the top like so and also add view more button. That's gonna hide some of the images to save up some space on your page. Like so, a pretty great one. And I'm not gonna be inserting the images I'll just show you how you can do it. And you see that every single object can be opened in the light box as well as in the gallery. And here's where you add the items. Here's where you add the categories. And here's where you style the filters under the filters tab. All right, so. I'll just change the color on the hover and on active so it matches our color palette. All right, looking nice. And here could be images of uh, this woman that is running this blog. Okay, now the counter. What are we going to be counting? You know, if you really wish you could add the counter to your blog, like how many countries she visited, how many pictures she has taken, but I don't really see the point. And latest posts, latest updates and news. And again, you see that there's used a line of HTML code with the hex code color. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and copy this one and paste it in here, delete the heading that we had there. and simply change the text to the one that we want. Here we go. So here will be showcased all the latest posts that you've got on your website. 
This is the widget that is called Smart Post List. Alright, so it's going to pull out all the posts that you add and you can either turn it into a carousel, slider, with the help of post widget. You know, there's a lot of ways that you can add posts to your website with Monstrate to WordPress theme. What I want to do with this particular widget is to go there and edit this uh, button. I want to change the color on hover to our pink that we're using everywhere on our theme. Okay, we're done with the post widget. That is pretty great. It's pulling out all of the posts like automatically you don't have to go and insert them in here every single time you can also query them according to different settings you see that you can also manually type in the IDs but if you remove these it's gonna pull out all the latest posts and news if you say it do it you can also pull out not only posts or or default post types you can also pull out the posts from the custom post types from the products pages you know you can query a post by a specific category or tags you can include or exclude posts by IDs you know I've just got a ton of settings to work with and to make this widget display your post just the way you want it to. And I'm just going to change the color of these links to pink. And here we go, we're done with the post widget and let's scroll down. And again, this heading, I'll just copy this again and paste it. Delete this one and just replace the text with the text that I need. All right, so here it goes, uh, some text. I'll just insert some generic text in there. And here adds your number and the link. If you wish, there is the icon box. And let's go ahead and change the color. Right, we're done here and then there goes the contact form which is also can be styled right here in Elementor editor with a monster to theme and you also get a number of contact forms created with contact form 7 and that is pretty much it for the home page we're done in there and let's update Here it is, and let's get back to the dashboard and jump to the blog page, which is not a regular page that you create by yourself, but the page that displays all of your posts in one place. Here we don't have the edit with Elementor button because we're going to change the blog layout a different way. Okay, so here go all of the posts that you've got on your website. These are just generic posts that went with the skins. I didn't change them yet. I didn't add my own posts and that is why they look like that. Okay, so now what you can do to change the way the posts are displayed in there. You go to customize. and you have to be on the blog page and you don't have to leave this page because if you're in the blog page you'll see the blog settings you click on it you go blog and you find the type of the layout that you want to use overall you have over 50 different unique blog layouts that you can use inside monstery too and there are also 10 singular post layouts so how do you access all 50 of those? 
So there are five layouts and every layout is shipped with 10 style presets. All right, I'm gonna go with creative. So it can also be like that. And here I can choose the style that I want to apply. And for me, this one looks just awesome. So I'm going to go with this one. But I'm going with that nice purple color and these blue buttons and blue links don't really correspond with what I'm doing with my theme for now. So how do I change the general colors of the theme? Let's do that while we're here in the live customizer. We will go to colors. If you want to change the background color of the website and we go to the color scheme. If we want to change the accent colors right in there. So what do we do? We click on it and here we will choose the color that we want. Here I'll insert that pink color that I want to be everywhere on my theme. And I just replace this blue in all the instances that I want. Right? Okay, this is done. And then typography. Here I can change the look of all of the headings. You see that logo text, menu text, breadcrumbs and the buttons. Here we go, we have changed the fonts and let's press publish. So all the changes that we have applied in our live customizer are totally saved. All right, now what we can do is to go and change the single blog layout. Let's go to this blog post. It doesn't really matter what blog post you choose. So we see breadcrumbs in here. So they're totally in your header. All right. What you do now is to go to blog settings and now you see different tabs in here than you had while you were customizing the blog layout where you display all of the posts that you have. So you go to post and you choose whether or not you want a sidebar. If you do, you can put it on the left side or on the right side. Whether you want to choose the post author, publish date, category tags and comments. You see, here it goes. And once you've applied all of the changes, you press publish. All right, now it's time to close the live customizer because we're done changing the blog layouts. And it is looking really great so far. And we can go back to Oh, actually, while we're still in the customizer, what I want to do is to change the general settings and go to style identity. And we can change the site title in here. Well, something like that. And here choose whether you want to show your tagline or not. Here goes the logo. You can select the logo over there. You see that there are the dimensions. The favicon can also be set right here and can be done in the general site settings. So you see, go to change image. And this one will actually fit as favicon.
just like so and we could crop it but let's skip cropping all right and it's gonna look just like that on your tab then breadcrumbs social links and page layout all right we're pretty much done let's press publish then let's close it and move on to the next page pages so we're done with the home and the blog and there is about me and we can edit it with elementor all right here it goes we've got a number of sections again and you see that we have the same one that we did which is actually pretty interesting because since we already had this same section before we could save that section with that style that we have applied as a template and then paste it instead of this one and we can totally do it but just in a second so there is this counter again and i'm gonna remove it There is this accordion that is looking pretty interesting. Okay, so there is that image. Let's change the image to this one. All right, about me is okay. And let's delete it. And it was what? It was the satellite again. And we can go to Jet Tricks use satellite yes and add the text okay let this just be about and go to styles and you see it's right there at the top and you know what i'm thinking we will anyways need the color for uh, this satellite and we also need the template for uh, this section so what i'm going to do now is to save the changes that i have already applied and go back to the dashboard go to the home page edit with elementor and what i'm going to do real quick is to go to this element go to jet tricks and grab this color well i better adjust it just a bit like so and then i'll grab this color go to the color picker and add it right here and click apply this is done, we have saved this color, then I scroll down and find this get in touch section. And how do I actually save it as a template? I need to right click on it because now they have this right click function and I'll find save as template option. Now it takes me to the Elementor library where I can give a name to my template. And this will be contact section all right now let's save it and here we go contact section here it is you have saved this section now update because i have changed the color of the satellite and go back to the dashboard and continue editing the about me page All right, the satellite is still there. So what I'm gonna do is to go to styles. I'm gonna rotate it again and just move right there where it should be. Nice. And uh, the next section is, well, 
this just telling about who you are and what you do again so what I guess is right is to insert this image here it goes and we could position the content of this column at the bottom so we have a lot more white space there at the top and what we can do there is okay this thing again we could save that heading as a template too but well let's just create a headline one more time just you know you will remember this better you know like so and click update and you simply close this window with the template editing and we're back to our about page so let's scroll down and here we go this is your accordion so this is the template that we have just created and you simply go ahead and you edit the templates that you have here then there goes my skills which could be pretty much you know anything you want to tell others about you so in this case since we're all about writing and blogging let's that actually be this image Uh, let's just copy this headline and paste it in there here it goes and you could also totally go ahead and just change these to the topics that you are interested in and let's actually do that we don't really need this column since we only have three topics for this blog uh, and let this be fashion let's say fashion filming will be photography and lifestyle okay and let's go to the salt tab and and what we'll need to do is to change the color of this text to this one and in order not to go to every single one and go to the style tab and change the color manually let's simply use the right click feature in elementor and paste the style of uh, this icon box all right here it is and uh, the last one we can now simply delete this section and go to add template and then go to my templates contact section blog that's the one that we have saved and i would use no and here we go that same contact form that we have styled uh, before and well that is pretty much it for the about page let's don't forget to update and go back to the dashboard and the only one which is left is my contacts and we go to edit with elementor again and 
And here we go, there is the contact page. I'm going to change the image one more time. Just probably this one will be better. Yeah, it's actually looking good. And we're going to delete this image and add the satellite. And we actually could save that image with the satellite as a template as well, which is a pretty good idea. Let's update. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't forget that if you're building a lot of pages and you're adding the repeating elements. And of course, there will be repeating elements. Because you want your entire website to be in the same style and all the pages be in the same style. All right, here it goes. Heading back to my contacts. What I want to do is just insert uh, this template and then copy the style. and paste the style on my image. And once I do that, I see that my satellite has just appeared and then I just go and change the text. And it's probably better if we make it just a little smaller, like a hundred. And then there goes this little thing. Okay, um, let's go and change the style of every single one. Go to the style, change it. And then you simply copy and paste the style to all of the other elements. Here it goes. And then the last one is again the contact section. And we delete it and we go and choose one of the templates that we have saved. Here it is. This one was probably the fastest one. Okay, let's update. And let's head back to the dashboard and actually visit our website and let's go through all of the pages that we have created and see how they're working. So that was the home page that there goes about. So here it is with the accordion. There was the about page, then the blog page. Here it goes and the contact. So I hope this video was helpful and insightful for you and you learned a little bit more on how you could work with the Monstrate to WordPress theme. You can find the link to this theme in the description under this video and download it right away. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that like button. Go ahead and check more videos on Monstrate 2 and other WordPress themes on our channel. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another one.